Welcome to the My Creative Days podcast, where we will talk about all things DIY, home decor, decorating tips, and creating a beautiful home on a budget. I am hoping our time together will spark a creative idea, help you plan your next DIY, or inspire you to finally tackle that project you keep putting off. Grab your favorite cup of motivation and let's chat. Hello and welcome back to the podcast. Today we're going to talk about a topic that has come up since um, um, launching the Furniture Flipping Academy. I will definitely leave a link to that in the uh, show notes, so make sure you check that out for all the information. But um, basically, uh, I kind of went to the team and I I said I want to simplify what our offers, and so um, we I have added. I have revamped the furniture flipping course. I have added a ton more value, more topics. Um, and if you have bought the the courses before, you have lifetime access, so you get all of that. But I also wanted to do um, a private community along with, um, to give ongoing support, um, um, to give an ongoing community uh, type of thing to anybody that uh, goes through the Furniture Flipping Academy. So I am super, super excited about this because I think it's just going to, um, we're going to be surrounded with, you know, the people that get what we're doing. Um, me, my team, we are um, passionate about helping you through this journey and, and, and getting you and having you have so much success with it. So this is just going to be, I, I just, I love the title, the Furniture Flipping Academy. I love what it encompasses. Um, I'm just super excited to be helping more people that way and just what we've changed and how we've revamped it and just there's so much value in it. So I'm just super excited about it. But when I launched it, I, I just, you know, as we were talking about it, I wanted people to send me in any questions or, you know, like concerns or anything that they had, um, you know, wondering if it was right for them or whatever. And so one of the topics that came, kept coming up, I've shared a couple of the other topics already on the podcast. Um, today, I'm going to talk about fear and dang it, that fear. <laughs> It shows up for us in so many ways in our life. And I just, um, I've, I've, I've read so many books. I've listened to so many podcasts and it's something that I, I just think it's something, you, you know, it's there to protect us. Right. But, but it's also there to protect us from, from opportunities too. You know what I mean? It's like, if we can just stay in our comfort zone, fear's happy, you know, fear is there to protect us. So I, I like to give it what it's trying to do, but I also like to shut it down when it's trying to, when it's, you know, stopping me from flourishing or, you know, doing another, like, an, uh, you know, you know, embarking on a new opportunity. I just, as I'm recording this, I got an email from a team member this morning that says um, that she was able to finally get something in for us that hasn't been able to, we haven't had the opportunity. And then it was like, instantly I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> You know, because we were going along, we couldn't get it in there. And then finally the video was able to get in. And then it was like, oh my gosh, like, you know, it's instantly, it's just that fear of like, I've never done it before. What's it going to look like? Like, what are we going to do? You know, and, and, and I get it. Like the, it's there to protect us, right? Like this isn't normal or this isn't something you've been through before. Let's put up our guard. But th- it's a huge opportunity for me. Um, and you know, my creative days. And so it's like, it's, but fear, okay. Yep. It's something new, but guess what? I'm going to, I need to stay out of my comfort zone. You're not going to keep me here. And when this happens, I'm going to jump on it. So stay back. (laughs) But when, when, you know, people are talking about the furniture flipping Academy and, um, it, you know, they're just scared. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't. And great. That's, that's exactly why you joined the Furniture Flipping Academy, because you don't know. And please let me be the first person to tell you to tell you to see the value in this, because I'm going to save you. It's going to save you so much time, money, energy, effort, all the things. Um, but but beyond that, it's fears. Um, number one, let's acknowledge them, right? But let's not, you know, it's it's that I, for me, um, when I know like it's fear, anxiety, I get this feeling in my stomach. Um, I know not everybody does it, you know, has it in different ways, but I get this pit in my stomach and I know instantly again, it happened and we were going to go see a house and I got a little bit of nudge of that. And it was like, chill out here. 
I'm not buying a house yet. I'm just going to see how, you know what I mean? It was just kind of like that little bit of nudge. And then I instantly shut it down. Like I don't let it go into a full fledged thing. Right. So I instantly shut it down and, 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 and know what it is. So when you can acknowledge your fears, um, recognize them, accept them, right? Before they overcome you, it makes a world of difference. And if it's the Furniture Flipping Academy and you have some fears about it, take some time to write them down and try to understand where your fear is coming from. Like, what is the fear? Um, And then understand where it's coming from, right? Understand what fear is there for. It's, It's there to protect us, but yet it's also there to keep us in our comfort zone. And the protecting part, okay, we're gonna give it that. Thank you very much for that. But keeping me in my comfort zone so I don't see any progress or anything, I ain't going to let you have that, right? So we we definitely need to figure out those things and it helps so 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 much when you're when you're dealing with those kinds of things. Challenge your fears. It was kind of like, you know, these two that just happened to me recently. It was like I ad- I identified it, I understood, and then I was like, but this is not going to happen, right? Um, you know, think of things that contradicts that fear. Like, you know, I will be completely honest. I am completely afraid of flying. Um, it really does give me anxiety. Um, but I also, I love going to new places. So I know the more I do it, um, and then I have friends that'll be like, okay, Lindsay, you know, these are the statistics. Like they'll give me, you know, you know, all the, you know, crashes and all those kinds of things. Like they like contradict your fears. Like, okay, really? Like this is what could happen. This is what's probably not gonna happen. And fear is that thing that you're already worried worried about something that hasn't happened, right? Save that energy for when something really does happen and you need that energy. Don't give it to fear. Fear is you worrying about something that hasn't even happened yet. That takes It takes a lot of energy. If you are somebody like me who worries and can get anxious easily, All that energy, and I'm, I'm telling you, it's something you have to work on. All that energy could be used in so many other ways, right? Positive ways. Sitting and worrying about something that hasn't even happened and may never happen is such a waste of time. So if you kind of think of it that way, sometimes that helps me. Um, okay. So one thing I like to tell people too is, um, if you like the contradicting, so if you think if failure is what you're worried about, I'm going to fail at this. I'm not going to do this right. I'm not going to um, be able to do it. Think of how many successful uh, uh, people in that thing. So I'm just going to do business. So um, entrepreneurs or whatever that have that have failed a kajillion times and now they have a thriving business. Like it's just part of business, right? And it's not failure. It's just we're learning how to do something in a different way. So. Um, just try to combat it and contradict it if you can. Third, take small steps. Um, I did a podcast about goals and just, you know, you don't have to have it all right now, tomorrow, you know, in, you know, and take small steps, break it all down into smaller, more manageable tasks. So it's not so overwhelming. This will help you build momentum and confidence <laughs> as you progress, right? So if you can kind of do smaller tasks and your tasks and it's it, it's going great, you're going to have tons more um, mo- momentum and motivation um, and, and confidence uh, to keep going. So just take smaller steps, seek support. I'm telling you, this shows up more and more and more. Talk to people who have. Um, experience in what you've done, who have gone before you, who understand what you're doing. Um, join the Furniture Flipping Academy. Um, that's why I created it, right? I, I, You can get over your fears of not knowing or not knowing what to do next, or is this the right thing I should or shouldn't be doing by taking, you know, get inside the Furniture Flipping Academy and it, it'll tell you everything you need to do and not do. And then you're surrounded by a, a supportive community in it as well. So, just seeking that support and no matter what what it is that you, the fear is is um you know taking over once you find somebody that's been there understands knows it it does make you feel better like it really does so talking to somebody else that has conquered the fear of flying or i've listened to many stories about it it does make you feel better so definitely seek out that support um if you can 
practice self-care. This sounds really weird, but if you can, fear can sometimes, especially if you're somebody like me, where you can get, you know, anxiety and fear kind of go hand in hand. Um, it can overcome your day, morning, afternoon, night, whatever it is. Um, so if you can practice, you know, exercising or just doing things that you find joy in, um, maybe it's just a routine, like you thrive with a routine like I do. If I don't have a routine, I'm just off all around. And then if I've, I've got fear or something on top of that, it's just it's just a mess. So um, find activities that bring you joy, relaxation. So get up and walk, get up and do meditation, get up and read a book, like try to do things that you enjoy and things that bring you joy. So you're not just constantly thinking about that fear or that, that, that fear that's trying to hold you back. It's just like running your life, right? Um, don't give it that much power. It's, it, it shouldn't have that much power. Again, it's not serving you, right? Um, you want to reach your goals. And so, uh, Fear wants to keep you where you are. And if fear's keeping you where you are, you're not reaching any of the goals that you have set out to do. So, okay, I hope that was helpful. Um, I'd love to hear what you're afraid of. I'd love to hear um, if fear stops you from doing things. If you're somebody thinking about the Furniture Flipping Academy and you have any questions, please reach out to me, lindsay at mycreativedays.com or on Instagram at mycreativedays. I'm here to answer them all. Um, I, I want to see you inside the academy. I want to be able to help you. But um, if you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to reach out to me at all. So until next time, I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you very soon. Hello, friends. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. I'm grateful that you tune in every week and that you share the show with your family and friends. I love having creative chit chats with you. And my hope is that this podcast will inspire you to try a new project start a DIY that you've been putting off, and decorate your home exactly how you want it. There are a few ways you can help us with the podcast. Follow the podcast so you don't miss an episode. And if you could take a few minutes to leave the podcast a review, that would help us so, so much. Again, thank you for being here, and I look forward to our chat next week. Bye-bye.